Pretty big day in Bellevue this morning where middle and high school, school uh, middle and high school students rather are heading back to the classroom. Uh, Bellevue School District as well bringing back students in grades 6 through 12. John Hopperstad is at Highland Middle School where not only all of this is happening today, it's also the first time anyone has even been in that school. Hi John. Yeah. Yeah, hi Liz. So it's kind of an unofficial grand opening here because Highland was under construction when the pandemic began and now it's finished and you can see we actually have students lining up to go inside the classroom this morning, keeping their social distance here and they're going to get their temperatures checked at the doors here. But it's a big day here in Bellevue as we see older students, your middle schoolers, your high schoolers returning and we're joined by Principal Susan Thomas right now. And what's the feeling here this morning? I am like a kid at Christmas time. I'm giddy. I am so excited. The, the kids have a little bit of a deer in the headlight look, mm -hmm. but um, the teachers and staff are so excited and we are just thrilled to have kids in the building. Now there are guidelines like we're showing they're, they're getting their temperatures checked as they went in. Yes. Uh, what are some of the other COVID guidelines that you're dealing with here? So what we ask families to do is to fill out a health attestation before they come to school. They can do that online. Kids can do it on their phones while they're standing in line. And uh, then they do their temperature. We do a visual check to make sure everybody's feeling good, talk to them and, and pretty much make sure everybody's feeling good. And if not, if a kid has a temperature, we go straight to our wellness room and make sure that we take care of them that way. Now we mentioned all kids coming to this school, it's a first day for them in this building. Yes. But it's been more than a year, I think it was March, when you guys uh, stopped schooling here in Bellevue for the yeah. pandemic. So how challenging has this year been and how big a deal is it to get some of these kids back oh. into the building, back with their friends in the classroom. Right, well, we we say you can never be prepared for everything in education, mm -hmm. but this pandemic and this year has really thrown us all for a loop. Um, teachers having to just to learn how to reteach and learn how to teach in different ways and how do we connect with our kids? How do we keep them engaged? How do I connect with my staff? How do I keep them engaged? Because the mental well-being and, and health for everyone is so important. And so I think everybody being on campus is just huge. I can see the difference in the staff when they're on campus. And be, some of our staff have never met each other mm -hmm. in, in person. So this week has just been a phenomenal time for us to, to really build community as a staff. And now we get to do that again with our students. Of course, you're gonna have a couple days with them, then yep. it's spring break, <laughs> and then you quarantine for a week, right? Because yes. so many families travel. Right, right. So this, so, so this is kind of getting everybody used to it and then taking a little break and then get back into gear. Exactly. You know, when kids come to middle school for the first time, normally they have an orientation day or something mm -hmm. where they get to, to sixth graders anyway, learn where their classes are and whatnot. Well, we look at these two days as an orientation day for all of our students because none of them have been in the building. Right. So, okay. yeah, it's just <laughs> dipping our toes in the water. All right. Well, Principal Susan Thomas here at Highland Middle School, thanks for joining us. Good luck on your first day of school here in this brand new building. Of course, elementary school students, they have been back in the classroom here in Bellevue for several weeks now. But again, this is the first day middle schoolers and high schoolers are returning to the classroom, guys.